I'm always trying to find a better way to level up my YouTube videos, a way that's easy, that doesn't take much effort, and it really actually shows me results. And one of the best ways I found in the last few years is using an animated subscribe icon, just like these. But the trick with these is usually asking for people to subscribe to your videos and showing the animated icon, the subscribe icon at the same time. And the reason why I like these rather than using just a still image one is with these animated ones, it really calls attention to itself. So sometimes I use it in the beginning of my videos. If you wanna see these type of contents, make sure you subscribe and then the animation comes on. And sometimes I use it at the end of my videos as well. And sometimes I just use it in one of those places, not both. But ever since I started using them, they made a big difference in how many people actually take the second to subscribe to my channel. So I wanted to make this video to hopefully help you get more subscriber using the same method with animated subscribe icons and buttons on YouTube. So the best place I found for animated subscribe icons is this place called Envato Elements. And I'll put a link below in the description so you can find the same page. But basically, I just went to Envato Elements and I typed YouTube subscribe animation. And they have some things that are very basic to use and some things that are a little bit more advanced. So I won't show you the more advanced ones because those require another software like Adobe Premiere. But if you do have Adobe Premiere, there's these things called video templates and you could use these to really dial in what your subscribe icons say. So some of these are based on Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects and you'll have to customize it. Let me go back because I wanna show you the stock video versions of these because some of these basically don't require any software. You could just grab these, put it in any editing software and you're good to go. Just put it on top of your video and you could have the same effect. They usually come with a pack. That's why I really like these because you just don't get one. So let me click on this just to show you as an example. You get all of what you see on this page. Let me show you right here. All these come with one bundle. So if you're asking people for a thumbs up, you could use this. When you're asking people to share, you could use this. All kinds of different varieties. Notification bell. This one is one of my favorites because you're giving a double call to action, subscribe and press thumbs up or press notification, but you could use any one of these. And every time I was trying to find these, the problem is they did not have an alpha channel. Alpha channel basically means they could go on top of your video and they don't have a background. If they have a background, it doesn't really work because you can't put it on top of your video. So whatever you look for, you want alpha channel as part of the package. These all have alpha channels that I have over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and check on alpha channel to make sure everything I get has a transparent background so it could go on top of my video. And what's great about this platform actually is you could download as much as you want for just one monthly fee. And I've covered all kinds of ways I use this platform in different videos. So I get my stock videos and my music and sound effects and pretty much anything I use, photos, fonts, all from here for one monthly fee. And I could download as many of these as I want. So I could just press download here and it's gonna download it to my computer and then I could use it in the edit, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And this one has 15 different styles just for that bundle. And if I don't like it or I decide to change it up later, I could come back, look up something else and then select it from here. And then I could download that as well. So if you make YouTube videos, this is one of those platforms that I've recommended in many of my videos. I've used it for many, many years and Invato has been along for quite a while. Let me go ahead and unzip this package here, this file. And these all came in movie files, these MOV files. There is no special program you need to use these. I'm gonna just bring one into an edited project here to show you how I add it. And in this case, let's say I wanna add it to this project. Now I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos, but this works with any free editing platform. You don't need anything this advanced to add those. But all I do is I come over here and I bring those into my projects. So let me go ahead and go to that folder and I could bring any one of these. Like, let me just bring, let's bring these four into my project. I'll just drag and drop them into my project. And to add them in most video editing softwares, there's tracks. So video track one is me. But if I wanted to add this to video track two, I could just grab it and put it on top here. And then a lot of video editing softwares let you resize things. So I could resize this and move it wherever I want. So I could put it here or on this side. 
And if I go ahead and press play here, let me just put myself on mute. If I press play, you see it gets nicely animated on screen and then it goes away. And if I don't like it, I could just grab another one. I'll put it on top of this one to replace it. This one looks a little bit different. Let's look at number four. Again, this one has a different animation to it. So it came off screen. So again, I could reduce the size, put it anywhere on my screen. And this is what I'm talking about with the alpha channel. It doesn't have a background, so it's not covering what's behind it. You see video track one is me, video track two is what's showing up on top of it. And I could add something to video track three, right? So you could do all kinds of different ways. Like this is how I did the intro for this video. You just have multiple different things. So if you wanted to, again, bring one of these like icons or this one, like it, for example, I could just bring that into my project and put it on top right here. And you could see it's a different type of animation. I could put somewhere else and delete maybe the second one here. And again, if you say, make sure you subscribe if you like this type of content, when the animation comes on, it would be much more beneficial than just having the subscribe animation. So try to experiment with both of those, the verbal call to action, as well as the subscribe icon. You should get pretty good results. And I have done that in most of my channels now for about three or two, four years in every single video. I hope you found this one useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.